because she didn't carry the capital along that I have a chair of this height so little little little, little things like that makes a lot of us feel we are not get we are not doing the right thing but the capital has done the right thing but the lady on her part failed in communicating well to the carpenter. Schedule management. Akim, my friend, I think she, he has a tailor friend. Akim, you have a tailor friend. You have a tailor friend. I know you mentioned. If you know what, if you know what it means by time management, give a tailor your ashwabi and don't tell him the day the party holds. Honestly, you tie that part to that part. We, you know what I'm saying? Time management. It is very, very important in projects. You must plan. Because if you don't plan, you fail. The project will end up. I've gone to a, a, a party. I should be had tight on my neck because of a team's friend. That tailor guy. Two of us. Is, you, are, you are flowing, you are communicating. Yeah. Cost management is still what we do, we undergo. It, it is believed that most projects or most projects fail because we don't manage our cost. We spend like anything. I chief said something when he was saying that when he was on the podium that a, a friend approached an allergy for 100 million for business. If the allergy had known that on this one, like he said, we'll, after if I give him this money, we we'll go and buy, we we'll go and marry a second wife, or third wife, or fourth wife, we we'll go and buy cars, carry his girlfriend to Dubai, which some people do. He starts to squander money for projects. So cost management is a key factor in projects. Any project you want to do, cost management is a key, key, key factor. I'm saying all this because I believe you are all leaders of tomorrow and today. And we are all, we are all planning to become entrepre entrepreneurs. So if you, are, if, you are, if you are an entrepreneur, you should know costs. Don't waste money. Don't waste money. Next one, I'll say quality management. What is of quality to me is not of quality to him. What's the name? Favor. What I like, he might not like it. It's of quality to me and it's not of quality to him. If I ask one question now, okay, let me ask it. You all, everybody likes food, soup, banga, afang, ofuwere, ohasu, egusi, eforiro, mewedu, and there is one food, one soup I saw in the north. It was green. Who has seen it before? Not. It was green soup. What's the name? I don't know the name. I ate it. It was lovely. It's Nuru. Green soup. It's from. So we all like food. Now, if I take two housewives, no, let me not use no, housewives. I give one 5,000 naira to go to the market and cook banga for me. I give the other person 10,000 naira to cook banga for me. Which one will be the one of the best quality? Ten thousand I will give you more quality. Uh, wait, wait, is the question? No, no. Let's not go. No, no. Let's is that the Wait, one by one, one by one, one by one. I love that 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 this thing quality is a very quality is something we should all know. You said it. okay, it is not about the money. Who said ten thousand? Who said five thousand? Ten thousand will be richer. 5,000 will be richer. Okay, okay, let's, let's, let's stop there. Why will a soup of 5,000 have more quality than 10,000 naira food? We are doing project management. Too. Sir, it's because um, the 10,000 naira one, we don't cook it the way 5,000 naira we cook the own. So, no, sir, it's because. Uh, Sir, because no, it's because it's been by. because it's been by um enough and uh, it's been by enough and uh, this thing. It's been it's been okay at all. No. Now, he 
is saying the, the, the lady I gave 5,000 naira will prepare more quality food than 10,000 naira. That is his own argument. Who has the 10,000 naira argument? You. Is it you? Okay, the 10,000 naira on is going to be more, have more quality because, first of all, you have to put the cost of transportation and everything for going to the market. So that's going to come out of the 5,000 naira, which might not be able which might not be able to the exact things you need. She is arguing that the 10,000 naira will be much. UAC, please, one house, please. No, it, it is just two arguments. She argues that 10,000 naira will be more because out of the 10,000 she will pay transport. No, that's what he's saying. But, oh, decorum, please. Oh, this, this, this question is lovely. Decorum, please. Everybody wants to answer. Eh? You want to? Which argument are you for? 5,000 and why? Let's make it your time. Why? That's not going to be okay because if you give you 10,000 naira to buy something now, you buy more than what, to, what, what to, it's worth to buy. But 5,000 will be okay. And I, I get you. But I don't, I think you guys are not getting my question well. I said which food will produce more quality? 10,000 now. That is, we are talking of quality. Not um, buy meat and 10,000 naira. So the general I believe is 10,000 naira. Now, now, hold on, hold on, please. Oh, hold on, please, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Decorum, please. USC, USC. No more question for now. No more. Hold on, please. Now. Wait, 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 you guys. Let me just tip in something. Hold on. No argument. Now. Now, now, now. What of. What about if the lady that was being given 10,000 naira does not know how to cook at all? You, no, you have to consider that in projects. What of if and if the guy that was giving 5,000 naira is a professional cook? So the quality of the 5,000 naira will come out better than 10,000 naira. It's very we are talking of quality. So what is of quality? Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. For my leaders at the back, sorry. Next question, I will, I will come here. No, I don't got time. You want to answer that? Are you sure? Give it's not the amount of money you give to the person. It depends on who wants to cook the food. Exactly. That's what I just said. It's, it's, it depends. If the, the guy that's giving 5,000 dollars is a super, super, uh, professional cook. Now, that takes us to resource management. That takes us to resource management. Hold on, please. This is a, is a very interesting. Project management is very interesting. If we start from now, we, can, we might not end till daybreak. But we, we, we keep on coming up with live examples. What's up? Okay, okay. I said that takes us to resource management. Like I said, if you put a square hole in a round peg, you don't get any, you don't achieve anything. Like the woman that was given 10,000 dollars that doesn't know how to cook, so the quality is poor. So anytime you are assembling your team, either material or human resources, make sure you go for the best. That will give you the quality, the end result of what you want. Because we are, we are all entrepreneurs. We will, very soon we start to produce things. We will employ people. Next one is communication. Wow. Communication is another kettle of fish. The whole day, if we talk of communication, we will finish. But for the purpose of this project, I will come back to it. Then risk management also. Please, it is not my portion. There is nothing like that in projects. There is always risk. Risk is everywhere. Risk is everywhere. Don't tell me yeah, it's not my portion. I reject it. In project management, there's nothing like that. There is risk. So you must look for the risk and address it. You coming to this pro program is a risk. You know that. Coming to this program alone is a risk. 
Uh, so there is risk everywhere. Procurement management, how you procure that stakeholder. Like I told you of the lady that wants the stool, the reading table and the, the reading uh, the, 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 stool, the reading table and the dressing mirror. Stakeholder. If she is a stakeholder, the carpenter is the, also a stakeholder in that project. If they had communicated well, that project won't be, won't be a failed project. Next slide, please. Now, what are leadership roles? Project management roles? Entrepreneurial roles? Project managers must define the project. That's the project manager. Must define the project. Reduce it to a set of manageable tax or deliverables. Obtain the appropriate resources and build a team to perform the work. That is the function of a leader. A leader, project manager, entrepreneur, once you have people you want to work with, once you take all these factors into consideration, at least you are getting somewhere. You've started to plan well. Reduce it to a set of manageable tasks or deliverables, what you can deliver. Don't promise what you cannot deliver. Obtain appropriate resources. Don't say how. Uh, it should be easy. Uh, easy. They, they told me he's a carpenter, he's a bricklayer. Just put him in. You didn't, you didn't try him. He will mess you up. And build a team to perform the work. Build people of uh, integrity, honesty. People that you can work with around you. Your project will be a success. Next slide, please. Oh, God. Yeah, go back. I want to copy. Go back. I will drop this, I will drop this slide. Eh? Can we go on? This man that that's who is a project manager self. You can see it from this diagram. He has how many hands? Like eight hands. He must be. He must know how to communicate well. He must be friendly. He must know how to spend well. He must know how to, everything. You must be very good. A leader, a project manager, an entrepreneur. You must have all these skills. Out. Next slide, please. No, no, this was a diagram. Next slide, please. <laughs> These are the skills you need, leadership skills. And we are in a leadership training program. All what we learned from yesterday till tomorrow, you must use that skill. For you to be a good leader, a project manager, an entrepreneur, you must use everything. Don't throw anything away. No knowledge is lost. Please. Everything you hear, everything you take, you must use it. Effective communicator. You must know how to communicate well. Pelena Kolapo. Good morning means good morning. Some people, some people is go away. You must learn how to communicate well. Influence our great negotiator. Wow. You must be vast. Because you need to procure. You need to do interview for people. You need to buy materials. Ashwe be wedding planner. You need to negotiate on how to get the best so that you can maximize your profit as a leader, as an entrepreneur. Conflict management. Wow. Wherever there are two or more people, there must be conflict. In this room, I know there is conflict already. Yes, last night, some people have quarreled. Two of us. Eh? Two of us. Last night, two, in the hostel, two of us. Yeah. Con whenever there are two or more people, there must be conflict. You can't run away from it. As a leader, your team, your followers, there will be conflict. There must be conflict. There is no way you can't, you can't, you can't shy away from that. See, they are arguing. Conflict, you see, conflict already. So there will be conflict. Next slide, please. You must be aware of your political and culture, political and cultural awareness of the environment you find yourself. As a leader, you must learn the culture of anywhere you are going. It's probably, like now, when my guy introduced me, he said that I went to do a project in offer. I'm doing a, presently I'm doing a project in offer. So when I, the first thing I did was to learn their culture. Anywhere you find yourself, the first thing you should do is learn that culture of that area. In project management, we call it EEF, external environmental factor. Let's leave that one. Let me not throw you off. You must learn the culture. 
of anywhere you find yourself. If you stay in Oshodi and you are going to Mushi, you must learn the culture of Mushi. If you are going to VI, Banana Island, you must learn their culture. No noise on the road in Banana. But in Mushi, like my guy said, ah, my guy's gone out. He said you wake up and sleep with noise. But in Banana, you don't do that. So when you get to Banana, no, there is no noise. So you learn that culture. Anywhere you find yourself, the any environment, you must adapt to that environment. You must be a good decision maker. Don't side. Don't, you don't take side to one or two of your personnel. Because I believe all of you here, you are leaders tomorrow and leaders of today and will be entrepreneurs. So don't take sides with any of your co workers You must be a good decision maker. Motivation and team building, then problem solving. You must be very, very good in solving problems. Next slide, please. Now, like I said, all projects undergo five phases. There's, no matter how little the project is, it undergoes five phases or stages. You have the initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling and closing all projects, no matter how big or small. What's your name? Okay. Favor. Now, Favor wants to buy a set of sneakers. He has that dream. From the day he started thinking of he wants to buy that sneakers in the market, he has started initiating. Ah, if I have this money, I want to buy sneakers. I want to go Now he starts to plan. Am I going to shoot the market or Yaba? Or Ikoyi or VI? Am I going there with Kekemawa or am I trekking? Am I going with public bus? Am I driving? He's planning. As little as that project is, he just wants to buy sneakers. He started planning again. Now, from the day he leaves his house, he has made up his decision. Now, okay, I, I want to take Kekemawa. He gets to the market, he starts execution. He started, he's, he start, he's starting to price. He's putting his leg. Do I like this color? Do I have this money to buy this? Is it pink or brown? Is it white I want to buy? Is it my size? Do I like it? Will my girlfriend like it? Yes, he's executing. At the same time, he's monitoring and controlling. At the same time, he's executing because he's arguing. Ah, Oga, how much? Ego, he says 10,000. Ah, no, no, ego, 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 uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm communicating. Good. So he said he doesn't have 10,000. He has 3,000. So he, he's monitoring and controlling. Now, what is that? Andy? He has not gone to a supermarket. Yeah, he has not gone to a supermarket. He has gone to the shop, real shop. So he has to bag it. You must be a good negotiator. Don't leave that behind. Hmm? You must be a good negotiator. So at the end of the day, if he if, if, if eventually buys the sneakers he wants, leave that shop, he has finished that project. That's the end of that project. Next slide, please. This is a pictorial diagram of the faces. You can see the monitoring and controlling process encompasses all the process because as you are planning, whether am I, am I going to take Okada, am I going to drive, am I going to take Mawa, you are, that is monitoring and control. You are trying to control yourself. You are monitoring, which is the best. That is why in all phases, the monitoring and controlling phase process encompasses in all the project phases. Next slide, please. Now, why do project fail? A lot of failed projects in Nigeria, across the world, everywhere. Why do project fail? Statistics has shown us that 50% of why project fail is, is a result of poor requirement definition. What I mean by requirement definition is the stakeholders involved, that is the clients, 
and the clientele, the owner and the vendor, they have not really sit down and tell themselves what do I really want? What do I want to achieve? What's the aim of this project? What does it achieve at the end? At the end, like this, the lady of the reading table and requirement definition, she didn't tell the, uh, the carpenter I require fifty percent of project fuel. Likewise, scope, the same thing. Scope and requirement they are interwoven, the same thing. The next one is risk management. It is not my portion. No, risk is bound everywhere. People don't consider risk when doing anything. They don't. They say it will never happen. So once that risk comes up, it derails that project because it's not planned for. There is no contingency plan. There is no fallback plan. There is no plan at all to manage risk. It will fail. Another one is communication problem. Lack of qualified resources and others. Communication is another major, major thing. Because whether you plan for risk or requirement definition or scope, you have to communicate it. Communication has covered everything. From this diagram is, is there, but I just tell you about communication has covered everything because we communicate 90% of our, of, of our lifetime. We communicate verbal, oral, body language. I remember when we were young, my mom, when she does like this, ah, oh, yeah, that. you know what she means. She won't talk. That's body language like communication. So communication is a very, very, very wild thing. Let me, ah, I don't want to tell stories. So if I tell stories, the house will be... Okay, let me tell you one story. I usually tell this story. I have a friend, true life story. Communication problem. I have a friend, a lady friend. She's a workaholic. Eight to nine, eight to eight p.m. The kind of work she does. She leaves very early in the morning and comes back very late. Very successful. Very good house, very good family. She has, okay, let me not use her real name. Let me just say it. Then she has a mate called Mary. Not real names, please. So don't quote me. There was one public holiday. In Keti just opened that. Like I told you, she's very, very successful. Very, very rich. Arrays of clothes, cars, shoes. Beautiful, beautiful family. She opened her wardrobe one day and saw clothes that she has not worn some three years ago, two years back. She now called Mary, a house help. Mary. No, before she called Mary, she had removed most of the clothes, put a stack on one side, put another stack on the other side. She now called Mary. Mary, come. This set of clothes on the floor, wash, wash them. This one, do whatever you like with it. That was the instruction, simple as that. Wash them, do whatever you like with this one. She mentioned with this one, but the other one, she didn't say anything. She just said, wash them, do whatever you like with this one. Mary, being almost the same stature with Ikechi, uh, madam. Wash the clothes as we've been told. December time came, she traveled home. All the clothes that said, Madam said, do whatever you like with them. She took them home, give it out to her family members. She came back in January, she didn't bring any other clothes than this, this ones that Madam said, wash. Are you getting that story? Now, the next Sunday, they were about to go to church. Mary took one of those clothes. This happened about two months later. Walked to church. Ah, Madame now said, Ah, Mary, is this not the cloth I told you to wash? Yes, Madame, I washed it. But you said I should do whatever I like with these ones and take the other ones. Madame now started beating Mary. Chaos. The husband now intervened. The husband happened to me, a very good friend. Intervened. Luckily, I went to that. I went to that house that day. Full life story, and they brought up that that um, that scenario. I now told them, what is Mary's level of education? What is her exposure to life? Do you know her background? A lot of chaos. 
I want to ask a question now. Who do you think is at fault? Um, mic, please. Microphone, please. Please, I want to come. I want to come this because it's a, it's a very tricky question. Who do you think is at fault? Give it to me. Okay, there's nobody behind this time. I want to satisfy you guys behind though. No, give it to me. Who do you think is at fault? Well, they are both at fault because they both they think she didn't communicate well to the maid, and the maid had very little understanding of what was told to her. Thank you. She didn't communicate well. Another person, please. I feel both of them are to be blamed. Okay. The madame didn't uh, communicate with Mary on what to do. And also, Mary, Mary didn't uh, ask questions. She okay. should have asked questions. Okay. To know exactly what uh, it's needed for her to do with the clothes. Okay. You know I'm throwing this kind of story up because we are all leaders. We are all entrepreneurs very soon. You will happen to meet different people that are not of the same level with you. Some are higher, some are lower, some are pairs. Communication is key. Next person, please. Who is at fault? Nobody. Give it to give it to me. Oh, my name is Shiemi Mando. Okay. I believe Madame is at fault. Okay. Madame is well educated. Okay. And Mary, he knows Mary before he brought Mary. So he should have informed Mary very well before he gave him the gave her the clothes either. So the girl doesn't have faults because the madam understands the girl. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think Mary is at fault. Okay. Why Mary is at fault is that the main purpose of Mary in the house is to keep the house. She's an house help. Wash the clothes. No, it doesn't, you don't need to know what you do with the clothes. Wash the clothes. This is your madam's clothes. Return it to her. That's my opinion. Okay. She said, do whatever you like. Do whatever you like with this. She didn't say uh, thank you. Next, please. Okay. Who is that fault? I think Mary is at fault. Mary is at fault, okay. Yes, because Mary, Mary took advantage of the fact that the woman didn't tell her exactly what to do with the clothes. So she chose to wear the clothes instead of giving it back to the madam after washing it. Okay, so Mary is greedy. She's at fault. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, two more people. Two, 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 two more, two more. It's time. This lady has been... Madam, please give it to her. She has been... I answered the options. Okay, thank you. Madam is not at fault because. Okay, Mary is at fault. No, the guy talks about education. Education or sign communication. Because somebody that is not educated at all can communicate. So Mary is at fault because it's, she's supposed to ask questions. When she did not understand the one she's supposed to give out and the one she's supposed to so wear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Last person, please. Please, last person that we can move on. Time. I think Mary is at fault because that's not the first time she'll be in the house, and that's not the first time the madam asked her to wash the clothes. Because she already told her, I'll wash this one and do whatever we like with it, and the other one she should wash. She should have just washed and kept it. Okay, thank you. Um, let me give my, my my own humble answer. I will say, from my own point of view, project management. Is one house, please. One house, please. From my own point of view, I will say both of them are at fault. Reason being, there was no effective communication and there was no feedback. There was no feed the main thing is feedback. If Mary had not understood Madam, she would have said, Madam, oh, this is, what, what, what does he mean by do whatever you like? What's this one? 
The madam on her own part did not say, Mary, did you understand what I told you? Now repeat. Like I said earlier, education, exposure, they are not on the same pedestal. So you must bring home at par with whoever you are communicating with. That is one one. Ah, she be she he, she she has a master. Look, you lose the magnifier. Look for the risk. There's risk everywhere. Some people wanted to come to this program this morning because of this train. They won't come. It's the risk of people beating them. There is risk everywhere. Look for it. Look for the risk. There is risk everywhere. There's nothing you understand. When you are going to Yaba, it's possible there's an accident on the way now. It's a risk. A conductor will collect some money and will not give you change. Or you, or you forget the shoe you just bought inside the bus. So there's risk everywhere. There's no assumption. There's risk everywhere. Just look for the risk and plan for it. It's a, as an entrepreneur, you must. As a leader, you must. Once you deal with people, there's risk everywhere. There are some people that are just because you are their leader, they are waiting to backbite you. They are waiting to pull you down. It's a risk. So you must be on guard. There's risk everywhere. Don't say there's no, it's not my portion. There's nothing like that in project. You don't believe that. Do not assume there's risk everywhere. Next slide, please. So there are some strategies you can use to reduce or mitigate or eliminate risk. There are some strategies you can use to reduce or eliminate risk. One, there are some risks you have to accept. The risk is coming, but you have to accept it. My friend was coming here this morning. There is room. He came to class. He came to do anything he wants to do. That risk is there. He accepted that risk. There are some risks you can avoid. If you decide not to come at all, he has avoided that risk of rain beating him. He will just sit in his house and he will miss all these interesting lectures. Let's say you take you buy a car, property, jewelries, and you insure it. In not any party, but you go to a party where you know you, you make friends. Next slide, please. In summary, I will tell you project management is all about creating an environment and condition to achieve a particular result or objective in a controlled manner with a team of people team of people because you cannot like i said projects cannot be done by one person with a team of people is it the team that will make that project be a success uh, be a successful project or not if you associate yourself with wrong people um tell us that would that would that not bring out your you yeah, should be on time you go to that event Looking as if you are, you are, you are not invited. Oh, Joe, Rasha, Joe, Don't give you Semo in the party because I know where you should be. Because you have, you have associated yourself with a bad tailor. So then now they won't give you. They will pass it across your head because you are not where you should be. Uh -huh. So, once again, I say thank you. Can go back. Hello, hello, hello. Um, please give him another round of applause. One, I would like to know the level, your level of understanding of the subject matter. Some were taking notes, some were gisting, others were looking, you know, abs like uh, some were kind of um, upset minded. 
So, um, we want to know who really participated in the class. So, number one, that our sister throwing something there. The last person, the last ten row. Yeah, yeah. What is your own understanding of project management? Yes. No, no, this person. Are you not a participant? No, you are not a participant. Oh, very good. Um, okay, let me. Some people are not, they are not looking up again. Not looking up again. Um, okay, give to the lady next to you. Yep. What's your own idea? Or what is your own understanding of project management? In just um, one sentence. You know, this man came all the way from Offa. In my own understanding. What's your name? What's your I feel name? a project management must. What is your name? My Olo name Tiwa. is Abegunda Abiola. Huh? Abegunda Abiola. Abegunde. Right. I feel a, pro oh, a project management must have the ability to be able to, must have the ability and focus to. I'm not talking about um, the skill or who is a project manager. I'm saying, what is project management? What is your own understanding of project management? Before we now go to other, you know, other areas. In your own world. In your own world. What is project management? Yes, project management to live alone and rather to the deal of fire. We see what sort of a mob war. No, it doesn't matter. A project management must be able to achieve a goal. What is project management? Who can help her? Okay, give to her neighbor. My name is Palo Mohamed. All right. Uh, pro project management is the application of knowledge, skill, and techniques in order to achieve a particular aim by two or more people. Thank you. Um, any addition? I want to add something. All right. Agba, Agba. I think that project management is the ability to start a specified task and be able to follow through to the end within a specified time. Within a specific time. All right. Who else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To me. Project management is a temporary thing in order to carry out a research so as to achieve a particular goals which are an end and also yes. a beginning. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Yes, it's temporary. Oh, yes. Okay, let someone else. Oh, yeah. And after him, you. No, ladies first. Ladies first. So that I won't be accused of not being gender sensitive. Up now, you know yourself. Project management is the pulling together of different resources such as skills, 
knowledge and people to um, achieve a desired aim or goal at a specific period of time. All right. I give to our brother now. Okay. My name is Godin Ogodo. What? So, my name is Godin Ogodo from Ijai. Okay. He yeah. defined project and project management. So when come come to project, he said project is a temporary tax or activity done to create a unique product or achieve an aims. Well, don't read book for me. Say it in your own understanding. That's, I want to your own world, your own understanding of the subject matter. Your own world. Okay. <laughs> Project is an application skill to achieve or create a unique objective or product. Thank you. Teacher, you are listening now. <laughs> uh -huh. do it, do it. Quickly. Project management is the application of skills on a particular task to gain an outcome of a desired end product. Good. Okay, now. <clears throat> What is the role of time? What is the role of time? Eh? In project management. Oh, okay, let me put it in its work. Talking about um, time management. Eh? So what is the implication of time? Let me put it that way again. On the success or failure of a project. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, the teacher said he, he wanted the class to be interactive. Uh -huh. My name is Fallow Joshua. The role of time is to ensure efficiency. Efficiency? Efficiency in carrying out the tax. That means doing it within a specified range, making it like not making the time to be up, doing it at the right time. Not that they should give you a project now and you are supposed to submit it next week and you are doing it next year. Okay. Okay, Antigua. Your name? Mm. Introduce yourself. My name is Adeze Wokocha. What? Adeze Wokocha. Okay, time, according to our lecturer, is a must plan, you must have a plan to a project to manage your time. Planning. Um, Can I go on? A cup give to this auntie. My name is Ikmat Olamide. Um, time is a factor that lets you do the project like faster and you'll be more specific while doing the projects, like you will not pace around. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so time is the duration of the project in which the uh, project is actually carried out for better efficiency. Are you listening? No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, not yet. <clears throat> okay, who is there? No, that, um, uh -huh, that auntie, no, that um, sister wearing company. Uh -huh. You can't escape. Just look up. You don't want me to call you. <laughs> Why you look me too much? I'll be suspicious. So it makes a professional perfect. Eh? It makes a professional. 
What is your name? Then talk to the Victoria. mic. My name is Victoria. Mm -hmm. It makes a professional to perfect. Oh boy, but we. It eh? makes a professional perfect. Make a professional, a professional perfect. Huh? Tisha, are you taking notes? Are uh, you, you? Oh, come, come this side. No, those guys raising hand. I don't have your time now. No, -uh. yes, you, lady. No, no, uh, don't give to him. Give to the. Uh, 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 yes. No, the lady in front of them. Uh, of the two. Yes, you. Do a lot Ah. Mm -hmm. Timing in project is in order to achieve a desired result. That's why you plan the project. That's your understanding of it. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Give to the guy now. Uh -huh. um, I am uh -huh. Salami Olawali Oladimiji. Okay. Um, the role of time management in project management. In project success. In or project failure. success or failure. Or failure. Now. In the beginning, every project manager should understand that there is a lifespan for every project. Now, if the lifespan of every project is not strictly adhered to, it brings or it questions the, valid, uh, the validity of the project. That means if you are supposed to execute a project between a period of time and then you fail, your project might be invalid when you are done. All right. So, um, sorry, that guy, were you in this class? You didn't answer any question. You know, why, you know why I stood up? You spoke from the professional point of view. You used the terms that project manager has used. That's why I stood up. But I was surprised nobody has. You used some terms. Because I, I, ordinarily, I, I, I was shying away from using terms. Technical terms, because if I start to use technical terms, oh, we won't understand anything. That was how I was using Taylor, uh, the cook, uh, uh, cook, as example, Taylor, all this. If I start to use complex technical terms, we might not, we might not be good. Like my friend Toby, Toby will tell me ah, that your project management thing is vague, it, it's boring, it is, it's abstract. But if we start to use terms, will not leave this place. Now, um, he has asked some um, questions. Let me just throw some lights. There's only two lights. He asked about project, project management and time. Project is simple. Project is very, very simple. It simply means a temporary activity. That's an activity that has a beginning and an end. Simple. No, don't let us cram book. A lot of you wanted to start to read. No, don't cram. A a project as a, an activity that has a beginning and an end. Like I told you, when it was going to the market, the, this program, like, like I said, this program, I said it's a project. You started yesterday and you're ending tomorrow. It's a project. That's a project. The, the project, project management is all the skills, the knowledge you acquire, how you harness it, you turn it out to a very good output. That's all. The skills, probably the human resources, the material resources, what you procure, how you plan your way, how you, how you plan your risk, how you plan everything, how you harness everything together to achieve a result. That is project management. Then, like he said, time. Time in project management is just because as a project manager, you will have set since it's temporary, this program, this project you are doing now, starts yesterday and ends tomorrow. If paraventure they tell you come back on Monday, it's a failed project. Because there is a, there is time limit to it. Before when you when you are about starting, when you are about plan, your plan where you are leaving your house, respective houses was by tomorrow you be in your house. True or false? True or false? If somebody now tells you that you should wait till Monday, that project is failed. But it has derailed your plan. Your plan is today, no, yesterday, and leave tomorrow. So that is the essence of time in projects. 
because it is you have set a time from abinicho from the plan is ah, i want to use three days in digital center if someone now say you come and use five days that project is filled that's the essence of time in projects all right going for that don't go i know we are saying that um, he said you are not um, even leaders of tomorrow but now your leadership starts today at least you are even the leaders of today because even among your peers by the time you get to your community you should not begin to you know to display you know certain quality that will stand you out as you understand so i know one day eh, you'll be happy to be addressed as um, a project manager abi answer now good to be a project manager you must have certain skills, Abi. Eh? And to be a project manager, you must understand certain things, as for including the political environment, everything, cultural environment, it is. Abi? Now, I want you to tell me what are those qualities, all the skills? A project manager must have. That yeah. Yes. Communication skills. A project manager must. You must be a good communicator. To communicate. You okay. must be a good problem solver. No, it's not now. That is okay. Hey, that's my brother. Uh, yes, you are looking good. I want, to to, I want you to give me good answers. Problem solving skills. What's your name? No, go ahead. My name is Favor Dada. Huh? Favor Dada. Fa favor, okay. Uh, problem solving skills, then conflict management skills, then um, leadership skills. Okay, then, all right. My sister. I know nurses that some people will not want to stay A good around project there. planner oh. must be time conscious and effective communication. All right. Those guys there, that corner. Yes. You can decide who will take the mic among the two of you. Oh, yeah, 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 you voted. <laughs> okay. Uh, a project manager must know how what's to manage. You know, uh, what's your name? Read one. Um, risk management. Eh? Risk management. All right. Uh, okay, your friend, Rinko. Hola, good day, Emmanuel. Time okay. management. Eh? It must be able to manage your time. Oh, okay, no, no, say, tell me something else. Cost management. Eh? Cost management. Cost. Cost. That guy there, are you part of us? Eh? Eh? Time management. What? Time and cost effective ability. Time. Yes. Time management. Yes. Uh, thank God you'll be listening to others. Sorry, Oga. Why are you at that corner? He lacks what? What does he lack? Thank you very much. Why are you sitting in that corner? Mingle with... It is... Interact. interact. It's, it's, part of, it's part of leadership traits, so. Honestly. I, I, people, you have to interact. Talk to people. You get contacts. You make friends. Or if you are, probably he has a very, probably the guy knows book very well, so he knows everything. Go and sit in one corner. 
Sorry. Um, um, I want five of you uh, to just tell me um, the faces of projects. Yes, just five. Hey, my guy. Okay, let me recognize you. <laughs> Initiating. Huh? Initiating. The five, okay. Okay, initiating, planning, executing, controlling, and uh, closing. Hey. Um, come, come. Uh, let's go to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Rule. The next row, from one to five, pick two. <laughs> no, the next one, the next. of projects initiative closing planning <laughs> initiative planning and closing what the next concept executing uh -uh. control yes uh -uh. Is that five um, well, um, let me hand over to Mr. Um, Subadio. So, if you have questions, one or two, then uh, wrap up in three minutes. Thank you very much. UAC, change Nigeria. Oga, I will tackle you first. Stages. Lava, Pupa, you know how it goes. You cannot be adult fly. Then you now come back to lava. Stages in Prodeman is a stage must. It is right. You can't mention them anyhow. I'm just trying to... No, I'm talking to you. I'm just trying to tell you because tomorrow you, you, you become a leader, you become, a, become an entrepreneur. You must initiate, then you plan, then you execute. Then you control and monitor, then you close. You cannot close a project with no plans. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. So let's leave it that way. Okay, questions? Can you? My name is Zainab. Please, I want to ask concerning conflict management. Uh, you said. Hello. Mike, put the mic on. Uh, okay, I want to ask concerning conflict management. You said um, conflict is inevitable, right? Yeah. But at least there is um, certain conflict that is needed in organization, right? Okay. So I want to know the level of conflict that sh uh, that is ideal for any organization. And secondly, concerning the um, example you cited. The other time, um, the madam and the okay. and Mary, right? So you said uh, you said uh, you will base the uh, conclusion on, uh, and the madam shouldn't have assumed that Mary understand what she was saying. I want to. Uh, I'm, I I from my own point of view, I think is there no uh, lack of feedback instead of an uh, assumption. It could be, you know, um, communication could be oral. So it depends on the feedback that uh, Madame received. 
from the um, from Mary. So Madam would have understand that uh, Mary did not understand what I'm saying. Or I don't think there is communication, effective communication between both of them. Or what's your own point of view? Okay. Um, thank you. My name is Suisha Aliga. Um, the, I want to ask a question about the five steps of um, project management you mentioned. Where does feasibility studies come in in the five steps of um, project management? Because um, I feel you must have gone for feasibility study before initiating any project. That's my own perception. So where does feasibility studies come in? Now, the second question is um, reasons why projects fail. Most projects fail in Nigeria due to government policies. So, in your highlighting of uh, reasons for project um, failure, I'm sorry, there's no government policy there. So, I don't know where government policy comes in. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, during, your, during the class, you cited an example about uh, giving Madam A 5,000 and Madam B 10,000 for a pot of soup. I believe that that's where the policy comes in. Oh, sir, is there, is, is, is there an idea? Giving Madam A 5,000 and Madam B 10,000, and now wait for them to prepare to do before picking the, the best. Because some people said uh, the Madam B, Madam A will eventually use, manage the 5,000 properly. What is the ideal way of, uh, you know, kind of uh, knowing the quality? Because if you are giving out a project, you, there must be a aim. You can you invite two contractors. Inter interview them at the end. Even the one giving 5,000 might even deliver best as giving a best result. So, what is the ideal way? Because I think giving 5,000 and 10,000 is a, a kind of waste. And as a project manager, you should be able to manage fund. So, what is the ideal way? How can you, how do you think we can pick out the best? rather than giving money to two different uh, people. Okay, thank you. Now, the first um, question. Oh. Okay. Time is against us, please. I, I remain um, Salami Olawali Oladimiji. Now, this is my question. Um, from the lecture we had today, I deduce that there are two types of resources. We have human resources and, of course, material resources. Now, in putting together these resources in your project, I want you to give us some etiquette as to knowing the best kind of resources you can apply in your projects. Like, okay, talking about human resources, these and these and these are the resources you can go for. And when you're also talking about material resources, these, these, and these are what you can go for. So I want you to give us etiquettes to those kind of resources. Okay, thank you. Um, where I want to put on this question has to do with um, where you said risk is inevitable in any business. Looking at risk now in any business, because as a uh, good project manager, you need to understand how to manage risk. And at times, sometimes when you take those risks and the business go the other way, people will refer to you as a bad project manager. Now, why taking the risk? What are the things you need to consider? When you want to do risk management, what are the things that you are supposed to consider? Okay, thank you. Let me start from this last because that was, is a odd question. I didn't say you should take risk in business. I said look for risks. Risk is inevitable. Plan. I'm not saying take risk. 
plan for it that will happen. That's why I say risk is inevitable in any business. I'm not saying, okay, you saw that risk and you, now, you are not taking No, nobody says you say risk. Risk will happen. You said? Yes, you can have, there are some risks you can avoid. It depends on the project. There are some risks you can avoid. Like I said, the person that was supposed to come here because of rain is not coming. He has avoided that risk of rain beating him. Oh, ah. you, you get it? I'm not saying take risk. No, no, nobody say have this risk and go and put your head. No. Plan for risk, any risk that will happen in the course of your project. Now, as an, probably an event planner, or you are, you, are, you, are to, you are supposed to cook. Something happened recently. There was a party in, um, in Nofa where I worked. Somebody was supposed to have a wedding. They now, the cook that will cook the, the, the food, cooked in the lorry, well, and was supposed to bring the food to Ofa. Along the line, the vehicle broke down, and there are food inside. People are waiting at the party. That's a risk. If the woman knew our plans that anything can happen, we we'll have looked for another immediately. But there was no plan for that. The vehicle could get to offer. So that party, food never got there. Food got there late. That's a risk that was not planned for. You have you have contingency plans. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. The vendor, the the cook immediately should look for. No, no, no. Let let him let him land. Let me land. Let me land. The cook. If she had because the vehicle she used was not a vehicle. She does not know the condition of the vehicle conveying the food. So anything could have, there could be, there could be an accident. But the first thing I did was when I had that story was I blamed the person that gave that contract out. Why would somebody go and cook a lorry and bring, are there no cooking offer? Can they come and cook an offer? You know, there, so it's a risk, but it happens. So plan for it. Now, um, the next one is, uh, um, Madam, I said conflicts are inevitable. There is no once you have two or three people, there will be conflict. You cannot rule it out. Except you guys are deceiving yourself. Except somebody is not telling the person the truth. I don't know the problem he or she is coming from from the coming with from the house. They are transferred aggression in office places. On your way to work, probably an Okada man. I splash water on you. You are you, you are angry. You get to the office. You transfer that aggression to your co-worker. Conflict is inevitable. You can't run the risk of it. It will happen. Am I right? You, you, are, you want to add something? Hello. Okay. There is different level of conflict. Is that is it that um, minimum or maximum? At least I just want to know which uh, level is ideal for a for an organization. Okay. If conflict is ideal for an organization, it is not, no. It is not ideal. Conflict is not ideal, but it will happen. You get it will happen. It's not ideal, whether minor or major. It will happen. I don't know you. I don't know where you are coming from. You don't know me, but things will happen. You will quarrel. In organization, we've seen people. Um, let me know. When I was in the bank, I, when I was in the bank, we've seen some bosses eh, trying to chase younger ladies, which who, 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 who happens not to be in that department. So they will tend to favor somebody else, and so there will be conflict. Anyhow, you don't, God, you don't plan for it. You don't know what the conflict. Is. You don't know how it will come. But because, because we are humans, conflict will happen. Then, um, in Ketchi and Mary, my friend told me that um, 
if you listen to my response, I have said it in, in, initially, the problem was just effective feedback. If there was feedback between Inkechi and Mary, there would be no problem. Mary does what she feels she understood, understood when Madame said, watch it, do this, do whatever you like. But if she had come back to Madame after watching that, Madame, I think get you well low, that angle would have been corrected. It, it's just effective feedback between both of them. Then um, my friend said something about the five faces that there's no feasibility studies. Fe feasibility studies is part of planning. Hello? It is part of planning. Planning entails a lot of things. Don't sit and think that because I told you because, uh, the, the, the example I gave is a boy going to, going to Yaba to buy shoes. <laughs> we can have, there are some projects that will take you 20 years to accomplish. So, part of the difficult studies comes under planning. Somebody must have conceived that idea first. That yes, we want to do this. I want to um, situate a dam in Mushi. Some, it was somebody's idea. That's the first thing that was, That's somebody's idea. Now, the feasibility study will now come up later. That it will go under planning. So planning is a very, 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 very vast area too. Oh no. Then uh, somebody talked about quality, about giving 5,000 or 10,000 to somebody. Uh, he said we are wasting money. The, <laughs> the lecture states that we are talking of quality. And I said, what is of quality to you? might differ from what is quality to me. That's why I give that example. It's not that because you want to do something, you give this one money, you give no, you are not giving everybody money. We are just talking about quality. That because something is expensive does not mean it is more it is of more quality. That is the home that's where we are driving at. Because he bought a rich watch of twenty thousand does not mean it is more or it is more of quality than the one he bought five thousand. Don't don't uh, in project don't think like that. It's not that we are wasting money. Then, you talk of, uh, somebody talks of resources. That uh, human and uh, material resources, it depends on the type of project. There are, some, there are some projects, they will tell you no experience is required for, to, for them to, uh, to, to apply, for you to, to be qualified to, do, to work on that project. But some projects, they will tell you ten, minimum experience, 10 years. It depends on the type of project. It depends. It's not project varies. Just as we speak, there are some people planning a project to, to build bridge underwater. It's there already. Some are even planning to pass airplane underwater. It's a project. Somebody has initiated it. Some people are planning. So you need that kind of project. They will need the best hand because there must be no leakage. So it depends on the type of project. That's where you, when the resources come, come about. Whether material or...
Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, class. Um, I'm sure most of us, maybe by now, we're a little bit tired. Can we just stand up and um, stretch a bit? Just, you know, uh -huh, you know, stretch a bit. Uh huh. Okay, that's it. Um, first and foremost, I want to appreciate Mr. Adekunle for, please, you can have your seat, please, for that wonderful delivery. May the Lord continue to you, sir. And um, the seed you are sowing today, you will also reap in Jesus' name. Now, um, I will also try to make my class as interactive as possible. And, um, well, I may not put some people on the spot, but um, I want everybody to participate. Um, who can define knowledge? Knowledge. 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 Wow. Nobody. Knowledge. Knowledge as the word. Yes. It's what you know. Please clap for him. Who can define who can define wisdom? Application of knowledge. Clap for him, please. Well, if we are to there's a thin line between, between the two, knowledge and wisdom. What's the Yoruba name for wisdom? Somebody said it more. Sorry, what's the Yoruba meaning for wisdom? Anyway, you get to know that as the as the lecture goes on. Please. The paper should go around, please. What we are about to do today is what they call self-assessment. It is important, yes, it is good you, you, you acquire all this knowledge. Knowledge about project management, knowledge about starting up a business, knowledge about raising capital, knowledge about becoming the best among the equal. All these knowledge are very key. However, there is another knowledge that is very, very important, and that is knowledge about who you are. So many people today, they started well, but along the line, something happened and they became a colossal failure. Can you mention somebody that you know, that maybe in the time past you admired the person, suddenly it became a mess. Can you remember one or two? <laughs> Is that something? <laughs> Well, um, I know of uh, another person, but don't let me don't let me magnify the failure. I want to say this with all sense of humility. English is not the best form of communication. Do you agree with me? The best form of communication is mother tongue. Some of us were not privileged to attend. Not these schools like yours. We're not privileged to attend private schools like some of you. I I grew up in a, in a place where we were, we do attend lesson. They call it lesson. And there, our old nursery rhymes is not uh, a for apple. You want me to incite it? Michelle Murasi shell rare me is shell of him then in giga. Hello. 
hello, 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 class. You know what? If you can recite it from the beginning to the end, I have a prize for you. If you are sure of yourself, okay, there's a lady there, and there's a guy here. You and okay. You have the floor. You can, you can say it from there. Okay. Ishe lo gu ishe. Ra si she ore mi. Ishe la fin de ni giga. Be akobare ni feinti. Be ole la ri. Be akobare ni bekele. Ate ra mo she ni. Iya re li lo lo wo. Ki baba re le shile ko. Ti o ba gbe du le wo. O te to ni mo so fun e. O nti akobaji ya fun. She ki in to jo. O nti aba fara shi she fun. Ni pe lo wo e ni. A pa la ra. I gu pa ni ye kon. Ta e ba npo o lo ni. Bo ba lo wo lo wo. Aya ma pe lo la. Ta bi ti wa ni pa ta ta. Aya a le ti te ni te ni. Shi ba ti o de ni ti ra go. Bo ba e si ni mu si e. O nti a kuba. Bo ba e si ni mu si e. Another person. Another person. There's a guy here. You confused her. Okay, please give to him. Give to him. I shall go share. More as she shall me. I shall laugh in the giga. Be a cobarani fancy. Le Larry. Be a cobarani beckerly. At a ramachin. Yari Lulo. Babarish the Lesh Leco. Tobacco de Lumo. Oteton Musafu. Shoot up by Giafu. Shaking his little job. Otto Fry Chefu. Nim Palaweni. A palara, a cupani eco, five bands for a loony, to balo low, I am a fellow, Tabuko and a patata, I am your secretary, Jacob de Tirago, Koba Shayim Sini, a costume son dogger, Borok Benio, Tifa Kosheri, Tabma for a woman, Yabba for Matuko, a woman for Matisaki, Mafo Russia, Remy, Mazi Shah, come on, come on, come on, damn your hands together for him, damn your hands together for him, wow, wow, wow. Can I have your name, please? Collect his name and his number. Thank you for that. At least. <laughs> Hello. He got it right. Thank you, my sister. Only one person. So don't worry. After the program, I will sort you out. Now, you know why I, I, I took us back to the memory lane? Some of us want to believe that if you, don't, if you are not good in English, if you cannot express yourself in English, then you are a failure. That's, that's fallacy. That's not true. Hello? Now, you, you must have been given a cheat. Says assessment form. Do you have it? Is there anybody that doesn't have? Oh, some people are here. Please. Because of time management, like we have been taught, and I, I need to manage my time. Ordinarily, this is a program, um, um, a program that will take minimum of one and a half hours. But because of time management, I have to do a crash program here. Yeah. So please um, try and pay attention. Flip to the back page. Flip to the back page. You have a place to write your name. Just write your name and your number. If you have email, write it. Then you turn back. Now, like I said, knowing yourself is one of the antidotes for success. If you must be a successful person, you must understand who you are. Understanding who you are is very, very important. You must know your, your limitations so you don't fail. One of the factors of production, who can remind us the factors of production? Good. Among the land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur, among these four factors of production, which among them is the most complex? The most complex. Somebody said capital. No. Labor. Labor. Because 
That is the person. Labor is very complex. You can ask the business owners here. They will tell you what they, what they face on a daily basis, trying to manage the human factor in that factors of production. So understanding yourself is going to be very, very helpful. In, because one of the reasons why some, us, some, some businesses fail is because the person has failed to understand himself, has failed to understand his limitations. Some of you, you don't know why you don't have money in your pocket. It's because of the way you are wired up. God designed us in different ways. And that's why we're going to focus on it. This assessment is what they do in some advanced country before they employ you. You must run through, through this test. So they'll be able to place you where you will not fail. Okay? Now, let's start. Do we all have all this? Do we all have? Okay, now let's go start. Um, well, like I said, this personality test. This is D-I-S-C. That is, God created us and Oyimbo people. They've been able to um, divide every woman into four categories. We have the D, we have the I, we have the S, and we have the C. So we are going to do that. But at the end of this pro, um, assessment, you know where you belong to, and I'm going to run through your strengths, your weaknesses, and how to effectively become a successful person in life. Are we okay with that? Now, for the first time, try not to copy. <laughs> you understand? Try not to copy. I remember while I was in school, somebody copied my, my answer sheet, and for, he wrote my name there too. Some people are master in that. Please try not to copy. Okay? Now, the first column, we have how many columns here? We have how many columns? 24. So let's start with the first one, which says, Listen, please. I want it's very sensitive. Once, once you get it right, others will become easy. On top of that first column, you will see most and least. Is that true? Good. And in each of those boxes, you have four words that describe your person, your personality. Number one, for example, please, I want us to be attentive to this. Once we get it right, the rest become cheap. Now, for example, if I'm to apply this to myself, my name is Kunle Olusegun. If I'm to apply this to myself, number one says gentle. I will ask myself, am I gentle? I will score myself 10%. 10%. I will ask myself, persuasive. Ability to talk to people, convince them. Am I that? Do I have that quality? Um, 40. I will write 40 there. Humble. To be humble means to somebody that is... Um, Submissive, somebody that is humble. Am I really humble? She be okay. Gapa, I'm a washoni starch. I will write twenty there. Then original, original is somebody that is real. Is photocopy is is real. Is not ready to copy anybody. Whatever you like, you say is real. Am I real? Uh, okay, I will score myself thirty. Now the first one ten, the second one forty, the third one. 20 and the last one now among this rating which of them is my list 10 which is what gentle so i'm going to circle list that's triangle i circle it as my my list then which one is my most the highest score there which is what 40 and um, you have what sign do you have in that perspective square so i just circle it i'm done with that block with that part then I move to number two. Do we get? Are we are we are we good to go? No. I just came beyond. You like to sunny Yoruba? Nino um Akoti. Nino Akoti Akoko Arigen too. Persuasive, humble, original. For example, am I a gentle person? To Am I persuasive? Humble, she more humble. 
Yes. But go 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 no. I call thirty sibe. Show you a be. Hello. Then the last one original. She mo mo jani to jet pe mi o kinto na mi je mi o fe mi o fe wo mi o fe she photocopy. Ma call sibe. Boya mo ale koyen kin koyen thirty. Mo wa be de nu go go rating to mo ko e e wo lo hide you. Inye no ko ni mo si mi. Ma se ko to mo to hide you be. E wo lo kere ju. Which is my list, my circle. You are in the box, Konkon. You are expected to circle one most, one list. Show you what, sir. Go to you, Abe. Talo ba wusa? Sorry. You pick one. You pick one. Are we good to go? Okay. So, number two. Please go ahead. Go ahead. No, Bola. That thing is bold. Topographical error. That's number three. You are already there, Abby. Bold. Okay. Imaginary. Imaginary. You don't have to write it there. Do you understand? Okay. At the end of the day, you should have twenty four most, twenty four least. Is that correct? Okay. Because you are going to tabulate. That's why we have a page at the back. Okay. Okay. Um, in case you have a particular word you don't understand, we have tried to explain under the blocks. You can see it. Okay. Ten more minutes. Not for time, I will have explained each word, but because of time management, I want to assume that we, we are able to apply it. Okay. I said, try not to copy you. Are you sure you are not copying? Ah, you don't have to. Okay. This is do it yourself. Bros, what happened? You don't have. Ah. Hello, sis. Somebody. Ten more minutes. Some words I explained underneath, you can see. You can see. So, for example, I will ask, what's the meaning of force of character? If somebody is fuzzy, what's the meaning of that? Introspective. Stubborn. Sweet. Where are we? 
Okay, somebody is already on number eight. Brave. To be brave means to be is um, you can use the word courageous, inspiring, submissive, and timid. Timid is not timid. Timid is timid. Ocho. Okay, number Have you seen it? Okay. Unconquerable is somebody that has that ability to not to give up. Do you understand? Charming. If somebody is charming, if somebody is charming, attractive. Attractive. Pleasant. You know? 24. Wow. Wow. She's already there. 24. Restlessness. Restless. Which is devout, sincere, somebody that is sincere. Wow, twenty-four. Wow. How many prizes have you won? Your secondary school days. Okay. What number are you? What number are you? I can see you are you are you are, you are moving. What number? I meant more minutes. Five. Somebody said five. I will stick to that. Five. Five more minutes. Is there somebody still struggling with number one? Or number ten? Four more minutes. Okay. While others are still struggling, um, some of us that are done, count the number of least and the number of most, and be sure you have 24, 24. Is that okay? If you have less than that, then something is wrong somewhere. Okay. Good. Two more minutes. Sister, hello, sis. What number are you? The last one, 24. What number are you, young man? Mr. Handsome. 17. Wow. You are what? Do it right. You are done, right? Good. You are done. If you are done, a show of hand. A show of hand. Wow. Just less than 20 percent okay you are done okay let's give them more time so they will, they can also enjoy the self-assessment
There is no calculation. Some people are still looking up. One more minute. At least try not to lie to yourself. Sorry? It's there. It's there. Once you are done, you flip to the back page, but don't do that yet. Okay. If you have done a show of hand. Wow. I thought somebody said we're in computer age. Some people are still operating the analog level. of time let's flip to the back page there's a tally box somewhere there's a tally box you are to count from the, the first one is there's a z inside the z you have d there right okay now you have to count the number of most that is z do you get the the ones you circle the, lead, the most you circle, count the Z, Z. <laughs> the Z there, count it and write it in that box. Count the number of Z that you, I mean, number of most that is Z that you circle, write it in the box. Then we tabulate, you minus and uh, you get the difference. Is that, is that taking? Do we understand? Let me take that again. Are you on this page? And are you here? Good. Sorry? Hello? Listing, listing, so we can get it now. Now, you have Z as the number one, right? And you have it in most and in least, right? Now, you go back to your first page and count the number of z that is least list any z that is list count it and write the number here 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 in that box oh is two in the two is you write the list you count the list you count the most Okay. Yes, exactly. And th the same to all the signs. Is that taking?
column there that is you do not you do not compute don't add just leave it there okay mm -mm 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 -mm. At the end of your calculation, all everything was had up and it must read twenty-four twenty-four. <laughs> Are you bored? Because it's safe assessment. If you are bored, then you must be a boring person. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Yeah. Some people they will have negative answers. Please just write it there. It doesn't mean you are a negative person. Mm, write it. Is it true that um, zero is greater than minus one? How can there is one now? what yes that's a contrary answer minus one is greater than are you sure are you sure ah <sighs> three more minutes three more minutes if you are done computing issue of hand Issue of hand. Okay. Okay.
Okay. One more minute. One more minute. Thirty more seconds. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Um, this is where look at the difference. There's a difference column there. Which one is your highest number? Good. And that's this. What is the letter there? Good. We are done. If your eyes is D, please come here. So everybody here, please get up, please. Sorry. That's how it works. You don't understand. You have not what even done. Come put it now. Ah, 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 ah. Have you done yours? Please, you have to go down though. Also, go. Please go down. Please, everybody sit down. Seems some people are still struggling with it. Please come. Are you showing? Please go down. Please, please go down. I'm going to show everybody. Hello class, we have just two more minutes. If you need help, show hand, a show of hand. If you need help.
do ti yo ile si ra won o ma yo si ra won ni you understand this is zero this is uh, 4 minus 11 kini e ma fun e ko to ma ko si be ni are you done uh, okay somebody okay i need your help please attend to her somebody somebody is calling for my attention here are you done Okay. Then what are you doing here? Did you assist me? Okay. Ah, you know, possible. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Are you immediately? Uh, you understand? Are you done? I'm only twenty four. Sorry? If you need help, a show of hand, please. Hello, class. You are to choose one. Why are you choosing two? Please, just choose one most, one least. Okay. Are we done? A show of hand if you are true. A show of hand. Wow. Less than 
Okay. There is time. It's time for prayer. So we have 10 minutes grace. So if you are a Muslim, I think um, some people have gone to pray and um, maybe they should have returned now. We are expecting the next speaker by 2 o'clock. She is coming from a very far place. So although, according to the timetable, we ought to, um, um, we ought to have been done by now. Have like a break, then come back for the next session. But even for lunch. But what we want to do is that once she comes around, she will be done by 3 o'clock. Then you can now go for lunch and prepare for the remaining part of um, the, this thing. Mm, eh? Because it's, once it's, once it's around, eh, I'll signal to you. So whoever wants to go, just go and pray somewhere quietly and return. At this day, it's not for full um, uh, uh, Juma. Just pray somewhere and return. Okay. That is an added advantage for some of us that are here. So let us... Some people, can you shut down the slides? Yes.